Legend has decided. Cristiano Ronaldo has spoken about ending his career. Liverpool targets Federico Chiesa. Barcelona's bold move, rejecting the most expensive player. Unexpected transfer for Real Madrid. All of this and more in today's episode. Hey everyone, welcome to our roundup of the top football news. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. If you've already subscribed, let's get started. The most expensive footballer in history, Neymar, wanted to return to Barcelona and even offered his services to the Catalan club, as reported by well-known journalist Gerard Romero. However, the team's head coach, Hans-Dieter Flick, completely blocked even the idea of such a transfer. The coach's position can be fully understood. Neymar's return is more of a marketing move, and whether the Brazilian will strengthen Barcelona's game, I have big doubts. Neymar is also a very injury-prone footballer, and Barca's infirmary is already booked. What do you think about Neymar's transfer? Nico Williams himself refused Barcelona's transfer due to the club's financial problems. According to Diario Sport, the athletic Bilbao forward is counting on a move to Barca next summer when the club's financial situation stabilizes. However, Real Madrid, which is in excellent financial condition, is also considering buying Nico Williams next season. As reported by El Chiringuito TV, the fact is that before the transfer window closed, an unnamed Saudi Arabian club approached Real Madrid and said that they could make an offer of $500 million for the transfer of Vinicius. Vinny Jr. could earn over a billion in four to five years in the Middle East. But according to ESPN sources, the Brazilian decided to stay in Madrid this summer, despite the record-breaking offer for football. In the Middle East, they hope that next summer, when the footballer has only two years left on his contract, it will be easier to negotiate with him and Real Madrid. This offer from Saudi Arabia to Vinicius forced Real Madrid to develop a plan B. If the Brazilian leaves the club, the Madrid club will consider the transfer of Nico Williams from Athletic. Very interesting events are unfolding, so subscribe so as not to miss anything. Manchester United will soon sign Uruguayan midfielder Manuel Ugarte from French Paris Saint-Germain. The Red Devils will pay $50 million for the 23-year-old footballer. Another $10 million will be provided in the deal as possible bonuses. This is a serious reinforcement for Manchester United. Federico Chiesa was actively sent to Barcelona, and it was said that the transfer would take place in the near future, but the Italian will not move to Spain. Barcelona has ruled out the option of signing Chiesa, according to Marca. The Catalan club will not be able to fit into the financial fair play rules. Barcelona had great difficulty registering Dani Olmo for the Spanish championship. For this, the club had to deregister the injured central defender, Andreas Christensen. If Chiesa were to be signed, the Catalans would have to deregister someone else. As Fabrizio Romano reports, a new contender has appeared for Chiesa. Liverpool have already made an offer to Juventus for the winger. This information was also confirmed by journalists close to the Merseyside club, including Paul Joyce and James Pearce. According to the latter, sources in the Merseyside club reported that the interest in Chiesa is exploratory. 26-year-old Federico was put up for transfer this summer. The Turin club wants to get about $12 million for him. For Liverpool, this is a negligible amount. Milan Skriniar will go to Ronaldo. Al Nasser have agreed on a transfer with the PSG star defender. The Saudi club has agreed to sign the Slovak defender. Now the transfer depends only on the 29-year-old footballer. Negotiations between the player and the Saudi club are ongoing. The transfer marked portal estimates its value at $30 million. One of the best footballers in the history of football has made a statement about the end of his career. Cristiano Ronaldo, who is already 39 years old, named the club where he wants to spend the last years of his football career. I don't know if I will retire soon, in two or three years, but probably I will finish my career here at Al Nasser. I am very happy at this club and I also feel good in this country. I am happy to play in Saudi Arabia and want to continue, said Cristiano. Ronaldo and Messi are an entire era in football. Well, everything in life ends, but who can replace these legends now is unclear. That's it for now. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Keep watching for more football action and have a wonderful day.